Hello, everybody. For all of you early birds out there who are here five minutes early, tonight we present to you Shlomo Price singing his favorite song. What are we going to be singing tonight, Shlomo? Ani Mamen by Tai. Everybody, please sing along with Shlomo to Ani Mamen by Tai. You ready for the music, Shlomo? Yeah. Shlomo will finish chewing, okay? Swallow what's in your mouth. More than ever, we can use some light. I will hold on. I will hold on. I thought we share this moment. Rose, I thought it low. But you're the only thing that I know is I will never lose hope. I will never let go. Shlomo, that was amazing. That was so good, Shlomo. I'm so proud of you. Thank you. Bye. See you soon. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. What song were we just listening to? Mommy, Mommy, Tai. Ani, Mommy, and Tai. Good job, everyone. Big round of applause for Shlomo. Yay, Shlomo. Hooray. Okay, here we go. Hey kids, welcome back to the next episode of the Incredible Kids Podcast. My name is Moritz Siri, and I will be your host through this incredible journey. We are going to meet many incredible kids. They are going to share with us their stories. Some of them super cool and different like you've never heard before. And some you may say are just ordinary, but all of them incredible. If you have great ideas, email me today at ikidspodcast at gmail.com. And now it's time for Incredible Kids. Hi, everybody, and welcome back to the Tehillim Army. Um, making sure that my right mic is plugged in. Yes, it is. Um, thank you all for being here. Today, Thursday, our of Shabbos, um, we, we come together to celebrate. Celebrate, I guess we could say celebrate. It's a funny word to use, but to honor the fact that we say Tehillim every day for our Israel. And this is supposed to help us continue to be motivated to daven and to eat to heal him and do special things in honor of the safety and the uh, protection, the, the total protection of the Jewish people and the safe return of all of the hostages and all of the people who are fighting in the army right now. So we have them in mind all of the time and they are never forgotten. Um, welcome back, everyone. Hi, I see some friends here who I haven't seen in a while. So it takes a while for some people to get out of like summer mode, you know, and also like back into school. And yesterday we had so many of our incredible teens with us, our girls. Um, we sang together with Devorah Schwartz. If you missed it last night, um, totally understand. Everyone has, you know, things going on. So I did post it so you can um, see it. It's on the WhatsApp groups and um, it's on the, the Incredible Kids channel. 
also, and if you watch it on 24 six, wherever you, wherever you get your, get your incredible kids recordings. So I did upload it this morning. So if anyone missed it, it's really worth watching. It was beautiful. It was basically an entire concert and it was very, very, very special. So thank you to the about 450 um, households who joined us last night. So that's like, I, I, I'm going to guess it was probably like 800 teenagers, which was really, really beautiful. Um, anyways, so now I'm here with all of you and, um, I want to say a big thank you to our sponsor who sponsored the week of Tehillim army anonymously. You guys know it's the same sponsor every week and I'm so forever grateful. Um, and then we also have a special sponsorship for tonight. And this is in honor of our Tehillim army soldier, his family, the Mandel family is honoring happy birthday. I believe you are nine years old, Parat Yehuda. Um, so Parat Yehuda is uh, a very important Tehillim army member. Everybody wave and say happy birthday to Parat Yehuda. And I actually got to see you right at the wedding. I was at a wedding and he came over with his father and he said, hi, this is the incredible Parat Yehuda. And I said, yep, I recognize you. I see you on Zoom all the time. So um, happy birthday to you. And thank you for honoring your birthday even more with dedicating a night of Tehillim on the Tehillim army. So you guys, you might've heard that tonight's guest, aside from Shlomo, who did a very nice job singing Ani Mama by Tai. As you hear, he has a cough. So his Ani Mama by Tai was a little bit coffee. Um, but tonight we also have a very special guest who is my Zadie. So my Zadie has been telling me stories since I was a little baby. And I invited my Zadie, Rabbi Gottesman, to come on to Hillam Army tonight to tell all of you a story. Sometimes his stories are like, just like silly and funny. And sometimes his stories are very serious. Talking about being silly and funny and being very serious. Now I got to look at my screens over here. I'm changing my view for a second. Who here already listened or started listening to the new episode of incredible kids that came out this morning. Whoa. Oh my goodness. I see like one, two, three, four. Wow. Keep those hands up. I want to see who started. Okay. Okay. It is like an hour and 15 minutes long. So if you finished it, that's impressive, but it might take you, I don't know, a few car rides or you might have to do it between three bedtimes or something to finish it. Um, and it's, it's a really fun one. It's a really, really, really fun one. So you guys should listen to it. it I interviewed, um, an improv professional and we had a lot of fun and we had a lot of fun, but I had in mind all of you so that when you listen to it, you'll have fun listening. And I think you really, really will like it. My kids told me it's the best one so far. So I think that's pretty cool. Um, all right. So without further ado, that's how I usually start my spiels. I am going to introduce you to not my Zadie. Oopsie, by mistake, I there's he has the same name as someone else here. Someone else had the same name as you. Zadie, don't you know the password is 111? You don't have to make your Zoom name 111. Hold on, ask to unmute. Now, now press on mute. Actually, I'm going to make you a co host. One second, make a co host. Am I unmuted now? Um, are we? Am I still a host, or did I make you the host? It says that? I am the host. Uh oh! Can you make me the host again? <laughs> How do I make you the host? You are the host. <laughs> am I still the? <laughs> uh, I meant to make you a co-host. I didn't want to give you all of the responsibilities well, over ask, here. Ask your incredible kids if they can hear you. They can hear you me. hear more with Siri, everybody? Yeah, yeah, I know that they can hear me, but now I think if I mute myself, I'll be stuck. <laughs> that would be really funny. Um, okay, let's see what happens. Hi, Zadie. Hi, Rabbi Hi, Gottesman. How are, how are you? Thank you for having me on this incredible, incredible podcast or whatever Shahakhe you want to call anu. it. Why anu is this... anu lazman haza. Yeah, well... We've been following this pretty closely ever since you started. Why am I getting this stuff about AI companion on here? I don't know. I just, uh, you know just what? Let's let's turn on. You know why? Because now you're the host. Isn't that annoying? Hello. By the way, I'm not the host anymore. Oh. Because you're the host now. 
Okay. Shoot, I have no clue how to do this. One minute. How do I reclaim host? I am now the host. Okay. Why can't I? That's so weird that I can't make you a co-host. I don't know why. Okay, you're not the host anymore. I'm really sorry. Okay, let's start okay, again. So you'll have to make me the host when I'm ready. Okay. Uh maybe. Okay, fine. I don't okay. know how that's gonna work, but so now you won't be cheppered with the AI requests. Okay, well, thank you for being here, Zadie. You're very welcome. It's a pleasure to be here, Siri. So um, I am Siri Zadie, and I am happy to be here. And I've been watching Siri do this since it began, Moritz Siri. And we're all extremely, extremely proud of her. And I just want to tell you that most of the year we live in Eretz Yisrael. And so we were there when this terrible war began. And we were there on the Shabbos Simchas Torah when it started. And we heard the explosions in the air when the Israelis were sending up the Iron Dome to knock out the missiles. And we saw people running in the street, running from shul to go to report to the base. And uh, it, was, it was a really difficult day, but Baruch Hashem, Klai Yisrael came together at that moment and everybody pitched in and did what they had to do, whether it was davening or some kind of work or fighting, whatever it was, Klai Yisrael all pitched in together to do it. And one of the things that I had heard about was that the soldiers really appreciated getting pictures and letters from children from everywhere. And there were actually tanks that would be, you could see them going down, being carried on the back of trucks and the tanks would have plaster pasted on them, pictures that kids drew and sent from all over. So I mentioned this to Moritz Siri and Moritz Siri invited all of you or those of you that were involved at the time to send in pictures with a note. And I ended up getting 1,038 pictures on my computer. And I transferred all of the pictures to a little thumb drive, they call, and I wanted to get them printed out. Well, to get them printed out in color and on decent paper is pretty expensive. But I took them to a printer in Yerushalayim and I told him the story and this is maybe about two weeks after the war began. And I told him the story about what Moritz Siri was doing and that I have 1,038 pictures to print. And the man got so emotional. He got tears in his eyes and he almost started crying. You could see that he was holding it back. And he said, I'll do it. I want to do it. I want to do it. And I said, no, we, we want to pay you for it. And he said, and he knocked down the price to like a tiny bit of what it really should have been. And he, I, and he said, that's all I'm going to take from you. He just wanted to be a part of the mitzvah that you all participated in by sending these pictures to Annette, to the soldiers. And then we had some, I had some students from the Veyer Shalim, which is a, a seminary. They were over the house. And we went through the pictures and we divided them into like 50 different um, envelopes. And we gave out these envelopes to people who were going to bases to deliver them to the soldiers. And we got many pictures and videos of when the delivery was made and the soldiers looking at the pictures that you drew. So what you do, the little things that you do can mean so much to the people over there. Especially Ashley Zidi, I'll 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 tell you. I know that the, I still have in my phone all of their pictures. I have like this is I think why I have no memory. <laughs> yeah. You see, right. look at this, guys. These are your pictures. And right. it, what was amazing about this is that when Zidi, you had this idea that we do this, you said you know a lot of kids, and I said I do know a lot of kids. And what they sent me that literally, we have in my phone. I have over a thousand pictures like this. I can keep going. And wow. Mishpacha magazine even asked me if I could send my favorite ones and they put it in the kichels one week. Did anyone see that? Did anyone see that they put these pictures in the kichels when they made a cartoon 
of people. Oh, there's a Huva when they made a cartoon of, of um, and Devora, and they made a cartoon of people doing stuff for Eretz Israel. And a lot of these pictures actually came from kids who are not even from like in Hebrew schools in random cities around the United States. So it was a real Achdos project. Moritz Siri, I want you to know, it wasn't random cities in the United States only, because I don't know if you noticed, because you didn't go maybe go through all of them, but we did. And we had 42 pictures from a Hebrew school in a little town in Sweden. Yes, I, I know. In. You saw that? <laughs> I saw that. It's right. crazy. And, yeah, around the world. That's true. And one picture that really was the one that was the biggest hit around our table was a little boy. I don't remember his name. And if I knew it, I would probably say it, but it was probably something like Moshe or Yehuda. I remember that it said that he was nine years old and he was from Lakewood. He said he's from Lakewood. And he wrote, he made a picture of like a soldier. And he said, Am Yisrael Chai. He wrote that in his eight-year-old way. And then he wrote, I decided not to eat one of my favorite foods as long as you're fighting. And oh. it made such an impression on everybody that saw that picture. So you, you guys, your Tehillim, your, your pictures, everything you do is so meaningful to the people over there. People in Israel stop me in the street and say to me, is that your granddaughter, Moritziri? With those, she's got those children appreciating Tehillim and saying, Tehillim, it it's means so much to us. I've had soldiers that came up to me that figured out who I was and other random people coming up to me, parents of soldiers who were in, the, in, in fighting that came up to me and thanked me. I said, don't thank me. Thank Moritziri and more so even just thank all of you, all the, the children that participate in this beautiful project of St. Tehillim for our brothers and sisters in Eretz Israel. Now, Moritz Siri, am I allowed to give a shout out? Yeah. Oh. I'm nervous, though. I'm nervous. I don't know if I... Uh, I, I okay, okay, so, fine. No, I want to give a shout out to your children, to Devora. Uh -oh. Yes, they get and, all the shout outs. And right, to Devora and to Ahuva. And to, wait, what's her name? Uva. <laughs> I know she's so cute. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're going to give a shout out to Devora and Ahuva. And then, what, Hallie? Leora. Of course, I want Leora. I was going to say Leora after, but Leora and Shlomo. Now, those are my shout outs. And of course, to your dear husband. Hi, Devara. Hi, guys. How are you? Did you guys eat supper yet? Anyhow, I just want to tell you. What you it depends what you call supper. Yeah, right. I get that. So I need you to share the screen with me now, and I'll return it to you. Okay. Okay. Am I shared? Okay, I hope everybody can hear me. All right, now. Now, I'm not sure how to do this. Siri, how do we bring a picture into the screen? You're sure you don't want me to be the host? <laughs> I want to be the host. <laughs> no, because I couldn't unmute myself when I wasn't the host. Oh. Um, you're gonna press share on the bottom. Okay. When you when you're the host, I have to make you the host again. <laughs> um, hang on a second, Evie. Okay, so now make me the host. Okay, but then I'm not gonna be able to answer your question. <laughs> How do I do this? Okay. Actually, you're the host now, right? Yeah. 
Okay, and I'm still unmuted. So on the bottom, it says share. All right. So now. You say share? If I bring, put, how do I put some, put a, 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 a picture or something into the screen? Uh, yeah, it's a little complicated. Can to you explain. see that? Um, no. No. Okay. Okay, tell this. You may have to forget it. Okay. Do you have it on your phone or something? Could you hold it up? It's on my, it's on my, it's on my screen. It's on my second screen. Uh, why don't you pick up your second screen and turn it? Uh, Is that a really bad idea? What? Show the screen? Yeah. Like pick up your second screen and face the other screen. I mean, like yeah, that? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Okay. Stop. <laughs> okay. I want everyone to know that's Mora Siri when she was an incredible kid. <laughs> okay. That I just want you to see that. That was Mora Siri. And okay. Note to self, don't invite your Zadie onto the podcast. <laughs> and, and this is Mora Siri when she was a little older. Like probably around 12 years old or something, right? Okay, Moritz Siri. That picture um, shows that there's hope for everybody. <coughs> and this is Moritz Siri when she got engaged. <laughs> What's happening? All right. Okay, so now you get the picture. Um, All right, now I want to show you one last picture here. This is Moritz Siri's mother and grandmother and grandfather and aunt in the 1800s. <laughs> Can you see it? Okay. Very good. Are we done? Right, are, we done like the to... are we done the humiliation? <laughs> yeah. Okay. So I just want you all to know that Moritz Siri is not, she herself was an incredible kid when she was your age. And look what happens. You can, you can, everybody can become a Moritz Siri and, and do so much for Klal Yisrael. As Moritz Siri is doing. Baruch Hashem Blian Hora. Keep it up. Kane Yerbu. Okay. So I want to tell you a true story that happened about 35 years ago. And there were two, two Hasidic boys. I think they were Lubavitchers. And they were doing some traveling. And the two boys went to decided to go to Alaska and they wanted to look for Jews in Alaska. So they went to different cities in Alaska and they met Jews there. And then they wanted to go out to one of the westernmost, the furthest point west of Alaska, like into the Pacific Ocean across the street from Russia. That's how far it was. And they went to this town because they wanted to say that they were there. And these two Jewish guys, they were 19, 20 years old, were walking down the street and someone noticed that these guys look different. I mean, they're Hasidic guys. They're wearing white shirts, black suits and a black hat. And they're walking in Alaska in this remote city on the Pacific Ocean. It may have even been, been an island. And someone stopped them and said, are you Jewish? And they said, yeah, we are. And they said, oh, wow, I'm, I'm the principal of a school and a public school. And we teach about different religions. And I'm wondering, could you come to our school and talk about Judaism? Can you talk about that in our school? And he said, sure. And they made up a time to come the next day. And he spoke to the school about being Jewish. 
And there was an elementary school and it was kindergarten through sixth grade. And the, at one point, one of the Hasidic boys said to the class, so yeah, we are Jewish, but is there anybody here that's Jewish? Of course they expected no one to answer. And did anybody here ever meet another Jewish person? No one answered. And suddenly a little girl raised her hand and said, I'm Jewish. And one of the teachers said to her, Kathy, be quiet, sit down. And the boys looked at that woman who's a teacher and the woman said, uh, okay, I think we have to finish up now. And that was it. And after the boys finished, they were ready to leave and the teacher came over to them and said, I'm so sorry about that interruption from that little girl. And I said, don't you have to apologize, it's fine. Who was that little girl? Is she really Jewish? And the mother said, she's my daughter, I'm Jewish. But we don't tell anybody here that we're Jewish because we're she's like the only Jewish girl in the school. But we don't tell that to anyone. So the boy said, I understand why you would be worried and afraid to let people know that you're Jewish in this area where there's no other Jews. And the mother said, could you talk to my daughter? She would want to talk with you. And we said, sure. So the mother went and got her nine-year-old daughter who came to the two Bahram and introduced herself. And the mother said to them, what could you say to my daughter to, re to let her know and remember that she's Jewish? We live out here with no other Jews. What can you tell her? What can she do to remember that she's Jewish? And the boys, the Bachram were really on the spot. They didn't know how am I going to answer that? And one of the Bachram said, he whispered like a tefillah to Hashem, please help me. And suddenly something came into his head that he could say to them. And he said, ask the girl, did you ever hear of the international dateline? And she said, yeah. He said, yeah, when you cross the international dateline, it becomes a different day, depending which direction you're going. It could be Monday and you cross it going one way, now it becomes Tuesday. And it could be Tuesday and you cross it the other way and it's Monday again. And this international dateline runs from like the North Pole down the Pacific Ocean in between Hawaii and Japan, somewhere out there. And on one side of that line is one day of the week and the other side of the line, it's another day of the week. Very strange. So he, Bahram, the Bachar said to the little girl, do you know that on Friday night, there's a special mitzvah, and explained what a mitzvah means, to light candles. And she had never heard of lighting candles on Friday night. She never heard of that. And she, he said, do you know that the first people that light candles on Friday night are the, the Jewish people in New Zealand and Australia and then Japan? They are the first people to write. And as the sun sets going westward, more and more people light the candles. And then after that, the Jewish people in India light candles and the Philippines. And then you go further west and you eventually get to parts of Russia where there are Jews living and you get to Israel and the Jewish people in Israel are lighting candles. But you know, when they're lighting candles in Israel, it's still 
Friday afternoon, maybe noontime in America, or even morning in California. And then the sun goes further to the west. And then the Jewish people in Turkey are lighting candles. And then the Jewish people west of that in Greece and in Italy, in Spain, France, they're lighting candles. And then it crosses the sun sets in England, and the Jews in England are lighting candles. And the next thing you know, the, the sun is setting, going across the Atlantic Ocean, and eventually gets to, to Nova Scotia. And there are Jews in Halifax, Nova Scotia, and they're lighting candles before everybody else, because the sun sets there first. And then there's Jews in Newfoundland, and then the Jews in Maine and in Boston, and then throughout the East Coast, the Jews are lighting candles, but they're not lighting candles yet in Chicago. And then the sun goes further westward and the Jews are lighting candles in Chicago and then in Denver and then in Los Angeles. And then you know what happens? If you light candles, you will be the last person to light candles every Friday night because where you live is so far west that you will be the last one to light candles because the sun sets here after every place else. And so it's so important for you to light those candles because you are the one that is going to bring so much nachas to Hashem. And he explained what that means because you are his last person to light candles. And lighting candles is a small thing. And maybe in most of your houses, your mother lights the candles and maybe the daughters don't light the candles. And when you have your own house, you're gonna light candles yourself. But it's not just about being the last one to do something. It's being anyone to do something. And every time you do something, you are the only person that's doing it. You are the only you. If your name is Rachel Greenberger, I don't know if there is one, uh, one of you out there, you are the only Rachel Greenberger in Lakewood that's lighting candles. And if you, your name is Chaim Grossman and you're in Cleveland you, and you're davening in, in the morning and saying brachos, you're the only Chaim Grossman in Cleveland. And Hashem needs to see all of us do those mitzvahs because every one of us, for every little thing we do, every pusik that we learn and every bracha that we make and every time we light a candle, every mitzvah that we do, it's we are the only we. we you are the only you. And so Hashem depends on each one of us to do our role and to do what we can because we are the only ones that can do it for us. And that's our little story for this evening. It's been a pleasure to be with all of you. And it's especially a nachas for us to, to see what Moritz Siri does with all of you. And you're very fortunate to have her in your life as we are to have her in ours. Thank you, oh, Moritz Siri. Thank you. I have one more person to, that you need to shout out that we didn't oh, say hi to. Hi, Shua. That's this Shua is my left. cousin, Shua. Hi. <laughs> hi, Shua. <laughs> okay. And my cousin, Shua, also, when he's not steiging in yeshiva, is on the Tehillim army a lot, right? Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, right. well, thank you thank so you. much, Rabbi Gottesman, a.k.a. Okay. Zadie. And uh, thank you for being part of the Tehillim army before you came on, and now now that you're on, you're officially been a guest on the Hillam Army. It's a new status. What? Oh, you heard us. Reiner's on. What's her name? Hold on. We have another grandchild. Okay, thank you. Another Devora granddaughter came. on? <laughs> oh, you heard us. Hi, you heard us. <laughs> Welcome, okay. you heard us. This is exciting. These okay, are my well. incredible grandchildren, or great-grandchildren yeah. and grandchildren. Exactly. Right. Exactly. We can't leave okay. any of them out. Thank okay, you, thank Moritz you, Siri. Sadie.
Everyone, big round of applause for this amazing story tonight. Okay. Okay. See you soon. Okay. Well, um, I hope that was exciting for you. I did not know why he want. I was really trying to help him share the screen. And afterwards, I realized maybe I shouldn't have tried that hard. Oh, one more thing, Zadie, if you're still on. You have to see these people. I don't know who they are, but their name is Rabbi Gottesman made my parents shut off. You guys. They were there before. This is just their background. You guys there? You have a funky background, like the Northern Lights or something? Shira Berry. Rabbi Gottesman made her parents shut off. By the way, they're shot. Rabbi Gottesman is a shadchan. So if anyone knows someone who needs a shut off, I could get, I could give out his phone number to everybody. Um, okay, so we're going to say Tehillim now. We're going to say um, two prakim of Tehillim tonight. And so um, I ask you all, if you have whatever Tehillim you have, regular Tehillim or this special Tehillim army Tehillim, you could take out your Tehillim. Let's see who's ready with a Tehillim with them already. We have the, hi, the Hamra girls. It says girls. I only see one of you, but hello. And we have the awesome cones. Hi, Ita. Ita's here with us. Um, we have the Rosen family. Hi, girls. Um, a lot of people, actually. So I'm just really choosing. Oh, I'm gonna, I know who I'm going to spotlight. One second. Bear with me. Um, you've been holding that sign the entire time. Molly, happy birthday. <laughs> Thank you for being here with your Tehillim. Say it extra special. You have a special special. Today's a special, special day for you. Um, okay, so everyone, today we're going to be saying Tehillim, and I'm going to be asking for Tehillim volunteers. So if we have any boys who would like to say Tehillim, we're going to start with Yod Gimel. They're both short prakim. So if you're comfortable doing it without having practice, we're having Yod Gimel and Kuf Lamed. So our first friend today is the incredible Yechiel Rotstein. Could you unmute yourself, Yechiel? Meanwhile, I'm opening up to, you need help? You could ask someone for help. Take your time. We're all opening up the Parak Yod Gemo. Okay. I wonder where Yechiel's from. I wonder he I wonder if he's from Brooklyn. Hi. I wonder if he's from, from Lakewood. Where are you from, Yechiel? Inwood. Inwood. Okay. Inwood is near like far away, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, very cool. Yechiel, what school do you go to? Yeshiva Dachitola. Yeah, what part? Uh, good Gimel. Yeah, good Gimel. Gimel. Thank you. <laughs> sure. We put him on the spot. He was our first volunteer. Oh, amazing. He was wishing that you would spotlight him for this. He's Yay. So <laughs> Your wish came true. What else are you going to wish for? Could you <laughs> wish for Mashiach next? Okay, Yud Gimel. Um, we're going to start Park Yud Gimel with you, Yechiel. Whenever you're ready, you could start Pasuk Aleph, and everybody at home will repeat after you. Lamanatech Mizmar Le David. Lamanatech Mizmar Le David. Adana Adenai Teshkachini Natsak Adana Tastir as Panacha Mimani. Adana Adenai Teshkachini Natsak Adana Tastir as Panacha Mimani. Adana Ashis Etois Menafshi Yagain Bilvavi Yamam Adana. Habita <laughs> Abita Anini Adonai Elohai Haira Enai Pen Ishan Hamavas. Pen Yoimar Ari Yakatis Sarai Yagimu Ki Amai. Pen Yomar Ayavi Yakaltiv Sarai Yagimu Ki Amo. Vani the Kastaka Batati Yagal Lidi. Vishua Saka Ashira Ladenai Ki Gamalalai. Vaani Bechastecha Vatahti 
Yagal Libi Bishua Sacha Ashira Ladonai Ki Gamal Alai. Yechiel, I know you didn't have a lot of prep for this, but do you want to say anything special to anybody out there? No. No? Okay, well, how long have you been joining us on the Tehillim Army? A long time, or, or are you new? Basically since the beginning. Wow, beautiful. Well, I, I do recognize your name. It's not like the first time I saw your face before, but I never got to talk to you. So I'm so happy that you were able to read for us tonight, and good luck in school this year. You're a real incredible kid. Thank you. Okay, now we're going to have a volunteer for Kof Lamed. Let me see. Hold up your Tehillim. Let's spotlight a few more people when they're up to Kof Lamed. Anybody here ready to say Kof Lamed with us? And even if you don't have a Tehillim near you, what, that's why I try to repeat the words slowly. So I see the Mandels are ready. Oh, my gosh. They even have some adults in the background holding Tehillim. Let's go, Mandel family. Wow, that's amazing. Okay, and we have... um. Rosenberg's ready with their Tehillims. Beautiful. So many people. I even saw that someone named Nechama was like, I, I saw while while Yechiel was leading Tehillim, she was like pointing like with the words like zoomed in so that anybody who maybe needs the place could look at her screen. Okay. Kuf, Kuf Lamed is our next parak. We're going to say, we're going to have in mind all the Jews of the world and particularly in Eretz Yisrael. Um, Ah, I see that you guys are ready to read. Hi, Dove and Chaya. Thanks for being here on the porch all comfortably. Okay, let's see who we have. Um, Who wants to read? Let's see. Mayor Porter, would you like to be our leader today? Yeah? Oh. Hi, Mayor. Where are you Zooming from? My name is not Mayor. It's on your oh, is, is that your father? <laughs> What's your name? Naftali. Naftali. Naftali, where are you from? Florida. Where? Florida. Florida. Which part of Florida? Tallahassee? <laughs> <laughs> Which part of Florida are you from? North Miami Beach. Oh, North Miami Beach. Okay, cool. Okay, well, we know your name is not Mayor. Now I know it's Naftali. Naftali, um, you're going to lead Parak Kuf Lamed, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, are you ready? Mm -hmm. Okay, you got this. Whenever you're ready, you could start. Shir Hamaalos Mimamakem Kerasicha Adonai. Adonai Adonai Shem A Vekoli Tiana Aznacha Kashuvos Lekol Tahanunai. Now up to Gimel. Oh, um, um, Teshmar, Ya Adonai, Mi, Yamod. Im Abonos, Teshmar, Ya Adonai, Mi, Yamod. Oh, he, Amad, he, 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 he visi Adonai kevesa nafshi the lead varo hochalti. Nafshi Nafshi la donai mi shomerem la bogar shomerem la bogar. Yo, 
Yachir Israel El Adonai Ki Im Adonai Achesed Be Yareb Imo Hedus. Yachel Yisrael El Adonai Ki Im Adonai Achesed Be Harbe Imo Fedos. As is wrong, the call me call of Sav. The who yefta as Israel, me call Avono Sav. Wow, you have a big smile on your face, Naftali, and I hope you're smiling because you should feel so proud of yourself that you led that entire parak on the spot. Who's with you? Is this your big brother? Don't be shy. Where do you go? <laughs> What's your name? Yosef. Yosef. Hi, Yosef. You look like a really, really supportive big brother. <laughs> okay, I'm going to say the Misha Beirach and Naftali and every, everybody who's at home can say, yes. um, Amin. Misha Beirach, Avosinu, Abraham, Yitzchak, Biyako, Hu Yivarich, Asachai Alim, Ha'umdim, Al-Mashmar, Artinu, Va'arei, Alohinu, Yitin, Adonai, Asayvinu, Ha'kamim, Alinu, Negafim, Afneim, Ha'kadosh, Baruch Hu, Yadbar, Soninu, Tachteim, Yadri, Mekatar, Yeshua, Uvataras, Nitzachom, Vikuyam, Bahamakasav, Ki Adonai, Alohichem, Okay. Do you, uh, and another another sibling who's a little blurry because they're far away. Who's that? <laughs> Hi there. Okay, you guys are such incredible kids. And thank you so much. Do you want to see something before before uh, your time's up? You said enough. I want to say something. You are incredible. Thank you for being part of the Tehillim Army Street from Tallahassee, Florida. Kidding. <laughs> um, okay, so I wanna um I wanna do the raffles now. And of course, incrediblekids.org. If you didn't yet enter the raffle, I guess you could do it now super, super quickly. Um, and remember after the raffle, I don't know if tonight's a good night for you guys. Maybe Friday's hour of Shabbos is a better time, but Incredible Kids Podcast, new episode. Trust me, you are going to love it. You are going to love it, especially that middle part with this hysterical skit about a boy named um, Ari. I forgot for a second. A boy named Ari who had a really, really, really boring year in school. And anybody here who could relate to being bored, anyone here got bored a lot of times? like me being in class, it's okay to admit it. We all get bored sometimes. So hopefully this episode will help those of us who sometimes feel bored and sometimes want to act super silly. And it's going to kind of balance them out a little bit. So it's real in a really, really funny way. And I think you're going to really enjoy it. So check it out and let me know how you feel about that. Um, okay, so let's do, let's raffle off some incredible kids swag. Um, I see a lot of people here repping with the baseball caps. Um, and with, uh, I saw some t-shirts on here tonight. The Loeb kids are wearing t-shirts and the Leibowitz kids are wearing baseball caps. So I, I notice you, I see you wearing that. Okay. So for our first raffle, we're going to do, let's do some incredible kids t-shirts. It's that we did. I think we did it last week also, but those are so fun to get. So we're going to raffle off incredible kids t-shirts and the winner of the incredible kids t-shirts is none other than the incredible bonders, Raquel Bonder at gmail.com. Okay, our next winner is going to be winning those incredible kids baseball caps. Um, baseball caps, these baseball caps, which are on the website, by the way, for people who didn't win if they really want one. But um, these baseball caps are so cute and so professional looking. I was wearing one. Um at a carnival here in Baltimore, and somebody came over and said, Are you wearing a Yankees cap? And I said, you think the IK stands for the Yankees, but they thought it was like such a professional looking cap. They really thought it was from like a, a baseball team or something. Okay. So here we go. Incredible kids caps are going to <laughs> the incredible Ricky and Esty acker six, two, three at yahoo.com. You know, um, Criesworth girl, you're making me laugh because you wanted to see if you won the raffles, so you're like in the middle of eating like soup or something. <laughs> And like your spoon is like frozen. <laughs> You're so cute. 
<laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to embarrass you. <laughs> You're just making me laugh. Um, okay, I'm gonna do the next raffle. And um, this raffle is gonna be a mystery package raffle. Those are really fun. And anybody who's gotten a mystery swag package raffle from me knows that I sometimes put in really funny stuff in the mystery package. And the winner of the mystery package is the Levy's Rifka F Levy at yahoo.com. Thanks for playing with us today. The incredible kids spin the wheel. And I want to wish you all a beautiful Shabbos. We should hear only good news this Shabbos and only big success. And a lot of you may have heard about the exploding pagers that happened to the bad guys um, in Lebanon. You guys heard about the exploding pagers. Um, that is just, I think, part one in like a lot of things that are just going to continuously happen and our tefilos, our tehillim, our maisim tovim, our, our working on ourselves, especially now before Rosh Hashanah, all of those things count so much and they are allowing the army to do unbelievable work and they are being Mosar Nafesh and you are putting in your work. So together, we're going to see massive miracles really soon. And one day we'll look back at this time and we'll say, wow, we were part of making that happen. And it's such a huge trust. So thank you guys for giving me the opportunity to be part of your army. It's our army. This is our army. And we need each and every one of you. So I challenge you that after tonight, you're going to go to school tomorrow. You're going to go to hang out with friends on Shabbos. You're going to play baseball on Sunday. Whatever you do in the next couple of days. Ask some friends. Do you join the Hillam Army? Do you, are you an incredible kid? If the answer is no, we have to change that. Who here is up for the challenge to change that? We need to bring in more incredible kids and Tehillim Army members because I'll tell you why. I meet kids sometimes and they never and I they ask me, or I meet families and people say, What do you do? And I say, Oh, I have a podcast for kids. Oh, that's so interesting. I never heard of a podcast for kids before. I'm like, Yeah, never heard of it. And, and then when I start to tell them about it, they're like, What? How come I never knew about it? I feel so bad. I wish my kids got to be part of the Tehillim Army. I wish my kids knew about this the whole last year and a half. It's not fair. And so I beg you, tell your friends because we don't want anyone to feel left out. They're all welcome here. They're all welcome here. We want our army to grow and grow and grow. And it's the most beautiful type of growth in the world. So I challenge you to help me with that. Let me know how that goes. And everybody, remember whatever's going on in our lives and whatever confronts us along the way, Say it to yourself, say it out loud to yourself as often as you need to, but he you're hearing it from me and I'm saying it straight from my heart. And I believe that you are all incredible kids. Have a good night and good Chavez. I'll see you next week. Bye.